As I say, this is a prototype, so, this is a, so the, 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 the pieces of food are very, very small, but we're thinking as you develop this, we could actually have proper floating, floating portions that people just lean forward to eat. How does it work? So basically, the way it works is we are using ultrasound and we are creating an acoustic cage in the middle where we can trap the food items, liquid food or also solid food, or and, multiple. Even. And this here, the, the, the white dot of food is bread, and the brown one is a bit of bacon, isn't it? Yes. So this is basically a mini bacon butty. Yes. And when you say mini, well, I mean, you would never get a full off that. So what's the point of it? Well, the point is that uh, it's a matter of taste. That's a new experience of trying tastes. So the important bit is that even if they are so small, in this setup, you can taste them just like if they were a big one, like Richard right. is having so now. So let me have a taste of a, of a genuine bacon butty. It's hard know. work, isn't it, this? Mm. Right. You keep talking, good enough. Yeah, right, so... And the, what, who is it aimed at? What's it for? Is it meant to be just a gimmick in restaurants, you think, that people come in to eat floating food? Or is there something more behind it? No, I think that the ambition is to really explore taste as a new interaction modality uh, for interacting with technology, no, to create new interactive experiences. So food is one way of looking to provide chefs, for instance, to create new menus, to make it more exciting and mostly give it a wow. taster. You don't want to kind of be filled, but it's like you want to taste some ice cream, you want to taste some you little bit of soup. You want a quick yeah. hit of that exactly. flavour without All eating right. it. Yeah. Okay, so, so... So I've swallowed out some water so that the flavour's gone and I should get an intense flavour experience here. You should. All right, here we go. I'm oh, sorry about God. the fillings, everybody, and all <laughs> that. You're going to see my dog now. So Please don't make go. me do it. <laughs> How was that? What is it? They're right. They're right. What? It's an intense... It's a very intense flavour. Yes. And we found that, that sweet tastes sweeter in this setup, so you need less sugar to get Amazing. the same feeling. What, do you feel, what does it taste like? You feel like it, you've it, actually... It tastes like something out of a science fiction movie when they give you a tiny something or other of food and, you, and, and your, your taste buds explode. Oh, my goodness. My taste buds explode. Right, OK, so what are you doing delight. for me there, Jan Luca? What um, have I now got to a cup of tea. with? A cup of tea. <laughs> Lovely, perfect. Well, have a, good. Sip, have a sip of your real tea. Oh, right, this is my real tea. There's no sugar in it, is there? So the interesting oh. discovery is really that we were worried that this tiny, tiny little morsel, you might not even detect them. Let me get the milk. It looks beautiful. But, oh, I've got right? milk as well. How nice. Sorry, let me move out the way, then you can see what you're doing. Go on. And this is ultrasound. That's yes, yes. it's ultrasound. I mean, it is actually, because I was thinking this is ridiculous, but it's actually kind of hypnotic mm. watching you do it. So this is the sort of thing Heston Blumenthal will probably put an order in immediately, won't we? We hope that Heston would have... be interested right, okay. to try. <laughs> it is funny, isn't it? What do you think? Well, I don't, um, no? I don't know about that. Well, the issue is that we are used to tea as a hot drink, and that normally covers the taste. What you are now trying is the essence of the taste. So, right, it's fascinating for you to have done this, and it's kind of good fun, but where does it go from here? I mean, what would you... Who would want this machine? Who would want to use it? I Me. mean, Me. Would you? Oh, it's good fun, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but more than that, we have another machine which actually transports food from here. To there. Ah, <laughs> so it's what, you mean like handing it like this? So <laughs> you have a reservoir <laughs> yeah. where you can pick up the food and then you levitate it through and then it oh, drops on your tongue. Fun. Every dinner party has to have one of those. <laughs> well, well done. Oh, okay. there we go. In you go, Charlie. Okay, okay, I'm going in then. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about that? What do you think about that? Come over here. Um, yeah, well, I mean, it's different, isn't it? It's different, yeah. What did it taste? I don't know if it tastes any <laughs> different. I just don't know if it tastes any different to eating it normally. Well, I'm going to be honest. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I've got a very, you had a real hit, very intense hit. Yeah. So, do you think that if you wanted, say, for example, you know, you think I really want something sweet, but I don't want to eat a whole biscuit. I don't want. You can just get if you put something really sweet on there. Would that then? Fix, it would fix, give you, give yes. you that mm. fix without so giving you that idea. Exactly. For chocolate, exactly. for example. Because you don't need to have <gasps> yeah. it that intense because it makes it, acoustic levitation apparently makes it more sweeter. OK. And, and the other way round is for bitter. You tried mm. tea and bitter tastes less bitter. So now imagine you want to give to my little four-year-old some of his medicine or some paracetamol or some broccoli to taste. Yeah. That yeah. might give him.